Shalom, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah HaKudash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's true name, Yah, Hawa, Yah, He, Hawa is to be or is, Bahashem, in the name of Yah, Hawa Shah, Yah, He, Hawa Shah, Savior or deliverer of the nation of Israel, specifically the elect at this time. And what I got right now is, uh, you know, special guest. This is my co worker in the spirit, my fellow. My yoke man in the spirit, them yard. We say it's in Jersey. You know, we hold camp down in uh, North New Jersey. You know, I got them online. So I hope that y'all can hear it. You know, this is just, this is rough. I just hit the record button because the Ock just uh, shared the vision. You know, the Ock has a lot of visions. He's from the tribe of Ephraim. And I've been around the tribe of Ephraim my whole life, right? I grew up in North, you know, the so called blacks and Hispanics. We grew up together. And one thing I say about the tribe of Ephraim, this is just from my experiences, always very highly spiritual tribe. So, so when I met the Ak and he come to me about these things that most people would be saying, well, maybe the Ak is stretched. I, I see it because <laughs> I know the tribe. So I know how deep, you know, the Lord can deal with the tribe of Ephraim. So the Lord be showing the Ak a lot of visions from the other side and the time is now and i know a lot of um Ak out there even the aqua is having a lot of dreams because the lord is about to do something so i'm gonna let the Ak, you know he can introduce himself and share the uh the vision and we can get a couple scriptures yeah hey, shalom all, all praise the glory to you about shibia shai shalom for rock and thumb to all you brothers and sisters and like you know what i'm saying you know there's only to the house of morning those with the house of faith that believe in the testimony of the hour shy and um yeah man this uh you know i'm at work right now i'm on my way as you brothers know sometimes i i'm on my friday live streams on my way to um go pick up my daughters every friday and it's a little trip about 35 minutes sometimes depending traffic it might be 40 45 minutes every friday so i try to do a quick live stream to uh, edify the body um and I was starting to do that, but then I forgot that I had a vision that I had to tell the brother. And um, so I stopped the stream and I said, let me call the brother and let him know. Because a lot of times, like I be telling like, oh, we will, we'll have these dreams. Because that happened to me in the past and I spoke to you about it before. Go on, go on, go on. And we'll have dreams and then we'll forget about them. Yeah. And, we'll, and, and forget to tell each other. So, you know... Some dreams is for just you. Some dreams is uh, we have so many dreams we haven't even put out there. Right. You know, because a lot of times it's just you know we we'll just leave it between us and Yah Bashim Yah Shah. But sometimes there's certain dreams that you have to put out there for the body can hear, and it could be a message to get people get you know get ready. I mean, matter of fact, um, if you right before I start this um uh this vision real quick, bro, I. If you, can, if you can pull up a scripture, uh, I think it's Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, and it says, mm -hmm. "Get your house in order." Yeah. You yeah. Know, you can hold that on deck real quick, and I'm gonna um, go into this vision because mm -hmm. um, I'm on hey, man. Uh, woo. So I'm at work, and you know I'm at plantation, and this this area where I work at, you know, I work at the as uh, brothers, you brothers that are already familiar with me, not to you new brothers and sisters that don't know, but you brothers that are already familiar with me, you know that I work at a college, uh, and I work at the library part of the law building, so this is area that I, you know, I always try to get a quick break, and I sit down, there's a couch, you know, it's all the way in the back area, the second floor of the library, mm -hmm. and you know, I usually go over there, you know, I sit down, I do my little studies, I do lessons, you know, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, do what I could do while I'm at plantation. And I was very tired, and um, I took a nap. And the Lord, Yahweh, showed me out shine, showed me a vision, man. And it was heavy. It was very spiritual. So I had to call the hot and share it with him because 
that's one of those visions that I could not wait. You know, so, and you know how it is. Uh, sometimes you right. know certain visions, like, yo, I got to hurry up and call somebody. You yeah, know? gone, gone, gone. Like, some of them you just can't wait. So, let me start the vision. Um, I, 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 w- I remember this, that I was in a building. It was, sky, it, was, it was a building because we was in the top floor, and it was me. I say we because it was me, and it was these women. I remember women. There was a few women there on this floor, and it looked like they were, you know, bus- in a business corporate building because they had, like, you know, these black women suits on. Mm-hmm. I was in the same room, and there was these windows. They were everywhere in that floor. And we was up, we was up there. We was on some top floor because I could see other buildings as well. And you had a good view of the sky, the clouds, whatever. And all I remember is that we just started hearing some loud thunder, some lightning, thunder lightning. You know, but it wasn't ordinary thunder lightning, man. This it, it was loud to the point. But mm. it shook, it shook the people, man, and it shook these women. And I'm gonna be honest, it shook me too a little bit mm. because I was a little shook. And then, so I'm like, damn, it's dungeon like that. And the woman looking at me like they scared. I'm like, they, they started talking among themselves, and I'm like, man, that's loud. Mm. I'm like, man, I ain't never hear no thunder like that. But as I but as I was looking out the window, and it was a, it was a day just like this. It was nice and sunny. If you look outside right now, we're in New Jersey. You're right. But right now it's a sunny day, and the clouds are right. It's real nice, nice and puffy clouds. They're white, mm-hmm. but it's a nice day. And it was just like this. And I remember looking up to the clouds, and as I was looking, I was seeing lightning coming down. You know how you 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 watch lightning that color that that that, that sunshine gold kind, 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 color kind. yeah it was like that I mm. but they weren't in the shape of regular lightning they were in the shape of of balls mm. they were lightning balls they were squint they were they were they were, they were circles and there was a whole bunch of them and they were coming down mm. and as they were coming down in those clouds. They were illuminating. They were blowing back and forth. And immediately I was like, whoa. Mm. And as they were coming down, then the lightning started, the thunder and the loud, it started to sound like bombs hitting the ground, man. Mm. Explosives. And, and, and everybody got scared, even me. And right there at that moment, in that vision, in that moment, I said, Lord, you about to do something. In the vision, I said, Lord, y'all about to shoot me out shot. Call Lord, y'all about to shoot me out shot. Mm. So I prayed to the Lord, the name of the Lord. And I said to the Lord in that vision, you about to do something. And then I woke up out of my, my vision. Mm. I woke up and I shook. I said, oh, I'm at, I'm at work. I said, oh, shit. And I got up. I said, oh. Mm. Now, now, like I was telling the hot in that area that I always get my nap, I try to take a little quick breaks in that back area. You know, there's oh, I've, 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 for years I've always had uh, uh, spiritual experiences, activity going on over there. Right. I believe that, that those be the angels there protecting me because I believe that through faith, man. I, I just know it, you know. I just believe that, man. That's just, it's just like I, the Lord put the spirit in me. I notice the angels there because there's always lights flickering. The mm. lights always flickering. I be hearing movements and stuff, you know. Right. And it's, a, it's not a bad presence, a good presence. Mm-hmm. You know the difference between, you know, you, you know, how that I be telling you about. Yeah, go on, go on. Go on. You know what I mean? You know the difference. Once the Lord. Once the Lord has shown you and opened your eyes in the spiritual war that we're going through, brothers, you'll know the difference between these demons and the right angels, the righteous angels. Mm-hmm. And I've always had experience that the Lord showed me visions there a lot of times. So mm-hmm. I know I know what's going on. I know it's the angels. 
So then the angel woke me up. Mm. And then um, that was it right there, man. It, it was heavy, man. And I was just like, man, the Lord going to do something. And I woke up and I said, yo, I got to call my brother, man. I got to mm. call him ASAP, man. Mm. Call on y'all, Bashi, man. Yeah. And um, this is the reason why, you know, this is, like I said, uh, you know, for the Akim out there, you know, new listeners, you know, this this is rare. We do something like this, but um, I was just looking at a video that I got queued up here. This is see, this is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. Everything. <clears throat> I was looking at this video that I'm gonna play real quick. This is uh, the hidden underbelly. And are uh, you familiar with the hidden underbelly? You know, um, these are sky watches. You know, they 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 uh, affiliates with uh, third phase moon, and it's gonna be an orb that you're gonna see. They doing a spacewalk out there. It's an orb you're going to see, but NASA cuts the feed like they always do. Never a straight answer. That's what they say NASA stands for. Now, what's happening down there in Peru is that you're getting a lot of uh, calls that seven foot men are running around peeling back these people's face. Now, when the Ox shared the dream with me about the orbs coming out the clouds with the with the thunder sound, because when I see the thunder sound it's to get everyone's attention. That I'm here. Something, something, something is going down now. Something is in the earth, which we know. Second Ezra is nine. The Lord said this is the time when He shall visit this earth. We're being visited on a heavy level. So when the ox shared the dream, it was like, damn, you know, the Lord. The, the, that's that's a vision. The Lord is about to make a move, and it's going to catch people off guard. That's why it was a sunny day. That's 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 what I. That's what I got, because I immediately woke up, and in the vision, I said, Lord, you about to do something, and that the heavenly father, I don't know what's going to happen, but you about to do something. Even something more, big, yeah. Even more, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something where it's going to it's gonna captivate everyone. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because in the vision, I, I immediately was like, Lord. About to do something, man. Yes, he is. And, um, and man, you would have seen those orbs and that sound. Mm. Man, it was crazy. Oh, I, I got see it in my head. I see it in my head, man. You no, know, you know, the Lord give us this uh, imagination. You, you still want that in Second Ezra fourteen? I got it. Second Ezra fourteen and thirteen. Now, therefore, set your house in order, and reprove thy people. Comfort such as of them that be in trouble. And now renounce corruption. Yeah. And the reason why I want you to pull that scripture up is because this is serious. The Lord is about to do something. And he's about to have our brothers, man, the angels, man. Because remember, the angels of the Lord, they are any um, so like it, brother. Give me uh, Proverbs 15 and 3. Mm -hmm. The Lord is about to do something, man. The angels, they, they, they're already here. The chariots are everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know they they doing the Lord's bidding. Mm -hmm. They doing the Lord's work, man. They doing the Lord's bidding, man. And this is why I said, I, I, look, we got it, brothers. Get your house in order. Get yourself in order first, number one. Because when you go into the house, it really it, it, it's on the it's spiritual side. It's really, your, right. There you go. It's really talking about you. you. Yeah. You know, it's the bayas. The bayas. Get your spiritual life in order, because that's where the spirit dwells. The Holy Spirit dwells in the temple. In the temple. The body, the yep. Gone. So, get it, get that in order, man. Because listen, man, this thing is going. It's going to go down. The Lord showed me that. It, it, listen, I don't know what it is, but the Lord's about to send these angels. Yes, and he is. These ain't going to be no regular angels. These <laughs> going to be some mighty angels. Yeah, man. yeah. And they're going to do something. I don't know if it's going to be in Babylon the Great, like I was telling I know, or around the earth. That enough things are already stirring up. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but what the Lord showed me, that ain't nothing. Because what I've seen in that vision, I don't know, man. It could be some type of explosion. Something could go off. Right. And, and, and over there at the Russia Ukraine thing. Yeah. We know that. That this this Palestine and yeah and, and Israel thing is yeah heating yeah up. yeah China and Taiwan is heating up. It's heating up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got. Yeah, I got you know, that. I got that. That vision is heavy, man. That's a heavy vision. 
That's a heavy vision. Um, I got this Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place beholding the evil and the good. That's everybody being recorded right now, man. And we know the eyes of the Lord are the angels. Uh, Revelations 5 tell you about them eyes that were surrounding the lamb, Yahweh shot, man. That's them angels. They see everything. You know, and they be holding the good and the evil. And it's time, man. We at the end of the world. We at the end of Esau's world. Like, we're literally, really, at the end of this thing. Yes. Yes, we are. It's like the reality keeps hitting you every day. It gets clearer and clearer. You understand? I, clearer clearer, every man. day it gets clearer, the message. We at the end of Esau's world, man. Let that sink in, man. This is serious business. In. This is serious. Ain't nothing more serious on planet Earth going down than these scriptures and this second coming, man. And that's why the Lord's showing these visions. Beautiful vision. You know, I'm going to read this in Joel. We all know this in this. More proof. See, people out here thinking we not the men of the Lord. See, the Lord is sending his men dreams and visions, man. Confirmation that we getting closer to the end, man. The Lord ain't playing. This is uh, Joel 2 and 28. And it shall come to pass after that afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. East that means Esau too. Go, go ahead, and get in. Oh no, no. You know what's that? Jerry, just give me, give me one second, just, and tell, you, tell your mother, give me a second. I'm recording. I'll be finishing in a minute. All right. So it says, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, man. So the dreams are picking up. The dreams, the visions. This is how the Lord is speaking. And that's like that's like a get ready message. That dream you had, that's like get ready. Cause the Lord gonna catch you on a on on the height of the day. That was that was a big get ready. That's a get ready message, y'all. Straight up, that's how I'm taking it. Get ready. Yeah. It's funny, it's kind of funny spiritual about it because this morning, and I've been telling brothers that I've been having the chariot for over two months at the same spot in my house every morning following me to work. Mm, yeah, yeah, I, I think I, I saw it this morning, right? Like yeah. Yeah. Non -stop. And, you know, that's beautiful because that's protection. I feel good. Yeah. And the point is, is that I, I this morning it was spiritual because I, I, I got, I got to, I got to my plantation, but I was in the parking lot. Right. And um, you know, the spirits just jumped on me like, look, man, and I just started. Recorded real quick, like right? Five minutes. <coughs> and I mm -hmm. look at that plantation. I'm like, damn, I ain't coming to this place. I ain't working for this devil, right? And the Lord just put it in my spirit, like, yo, I'm about to clock in. But once, once we clock out, we ain't clocking back in. <laughs> the other side's coming to do that for us. Yeah. And we, the Lord, hey. We at the end, man. Yes, we are. We about to clock out and never clock back in. Yeah. We ain't got to work no more for this devil, man. We about, right. to, we about to enter to our rest, man. Yeah, kind, kind. All praises. Call all y'all about your mouth shot, man. And then the Lord, and then after the Lord shows me the vision. Mm-hmm. Like a big, like a get ready warning sign. That big red yeah. stops. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Confirmation. Like, Confirmation, man. This thing is going down. So it says, your young men shall see visions. And there's a difference between a dream and a vision. And what you witnessed right there was a vision. Yep. Them orbs coming down. So it says, and also upon the servants and upon thy handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Now, I'm just this video is like two minutes. I just want to play a certain part in this real quick. I'm going to hit the play button real quick. So you can see, y'all can see this. And these orbs are everywhere. And this is for all you. Oh, let me let me put pause. This is for all you Project Blue Bean guys. That every time you see something in the sky, it gotta be Esau. Don't give Esau that much credit, man. And, 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 and I wanna add something before you say that. Yeah, because I have this moron. I don't know if it was a uh, Edomite looked like one. A right. Woman or a male that came up on my comment ball was like, that's a star. 
Yeah, see? <laughs> it's because these people are carny. They don't yes, they them. are. Hopeless. Hopeless, empty bodies. Yeah. yeah. And they hate your faith. <laughs> you know? So um, I'm going to play this real quick. And I'm going I'm to I'm fast forward this. Okay, so we see the satellite. That's the satellite right there. Right, the tabernacle. Okay, for the sun. guys. We now have you see some the, the, the that astronaut was right now. The he's doing a spacewalk. I think this, this is the Russian. You got three space stations up there. You got the Russian, the Chinese, and the U.S. You know, and they do these spacewalks, and they're sharing the same astronauts from each station. Now, watch what pops up on your left hand side at the top. You're gonna clearly see an orb. Now, then, now, now, these orbs are everywhere, and they' about to make a move on this place. This place is about to be invaded, man. The Lord is about to, like Habakkuk said, he about to invade this place with his troops. Hey, hey, the Lord said, uh, in the book of Habakkuk, he's going to invade him with his with troops. With his troops, man. This is about to happen. A takeover, a major, and Esau, not ready for this. That's why the Lord said, I will not meet you as a man. They're going to try to spin it, but you ain't going to be able to fight against your Habashim Let me hit play. And just stay watching them as they were doing their space walk. So, guys, let's have have to give it a footage, second. Watch we'll close. Real quick chat afterwards. It's going to be on your upper By left Procopia, hand. You see this? You see the space they doing the this, uh, a space walk a short right now. Time from now. In a trajectory now you see it. You see it coming out. Any potential it's for coming out in the middle. With the you see the orb. The orb is Sorry, circling. Currently on the desk. It's circling. Sounds good. Boom! And they they about to cut the feed. These orbs are everywhere. Yeah. And they've been here. They've been here for a while. Yes. Man. Hold so on. Now see now, see what you gotta understand that the scripture talks about uh, that the angels they execute the commandments of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So they've been here for for a while already. Mm-hmm. But they've been doing the Lord's work. Yes. You know, on different levels. Right. And right. now, the Lord is telling them to manifest themselves a little bit more. Right. To show oh. themselves a little bit more. Right. So the, so the world can see, look, there's a change coming. Yes. Yes. Because this 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 is Esau's nightmare. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is his nightmare. Oh, yeah. This, look, one one, one chariot in Esau's eyes is a nightmare to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for him to continue to see the angels being manifested, it shows a change. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. A power greater than himself. To us, the believers, we know what they are. Right. It's exciting to us, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know? Yep. But it also, but it also puts us in a humble position where we gotta stay fair because we know that we gotta get ourselves in order mm -hmm. even more. Yep. Yep. You know? Yep. So um that's beautiful. I'm gonna pull this last scripture. Then I'm we're gonna have to, we're gonna close out on this. But uh, you know, I wanted to get this down because it's it's very it's a warning. That vision was a warning. It's warning to you, warning to me, warning to whoever hit this video. Our Lord is here and a move is a major move is about to be made. A major move to speed this thing up. The Lord said he was going to cut it short, else no flesh can be saved. The Lord can really cut this thing short, man, in one day. Your whole world can change. So it's we on high alert. No matter how good the day look, we out with the family. I gotta go right now and bust a couple moves. No matter what we doing, we on high alert at all times. This is not a job that you clock out from. If you're the man of the Lord, the spirit is constantly burning, man. Because this is, this is, the Lord is about to crack what we perceive as reality. Our reality is already cracked through the scriptures. The Lord has opened up our eyes south. But these fools running around planet earth, they about to get a rude awakening, man. This is um, Isaiah 47 verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. And that's happening. Everything is out now. We're in a time when... Esau is losing the information war. Everything is out. So you're, you're, you're exposed right now. It says, yea, your shame shall be seen. And it is a shame to be a damn Edomite. 
They trying to cover up the history about the slave trade. They kind of cover up what they did to the natives, what they did to the Tahinos, the Aqua Indians, what they did. They're disgusted by their history, but everything's out. And your shame, your shame, your weakest parts is being seen. It says, I will take vengeance. What we looking at with these orbs, with these chariots going in and out the sun, in and out the, hey, hey, ah, you saw what just happened in Hawaii? Yo, the fire. Yo, that fire came out of the wind. A big yeah. dust storm, then a fire consumed over 250 yeah. homes. Yeah, and 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 listen, um, I mean, I don't know if it's 100 percent true, but there's rumors that you know that Esau was behind it mm. with his uh with his uh wicked devices because right. the way that fire burned, right, it was like a straight line mm. if you look at it on a bird eye view right if you look at it on a bird eye view and you look down right it's parallel but like 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 this laser laser fire beam mm. parallel burning straight mm. that could be could now, be so I'm, I'm i'm just speaking as a man i'm not saying that's what happened right but when it comes to this devil, we can't pass anything by him. Yeah, you know? yep, yep. Which is ultimately... You, you, you're, you're going into it right now as mm -hmm. you're being exposed. You're mm -hmm. being the same. Yeah, everything you is know? coming out. Yep. So it says, I will take vengeance and I will not meet you as a man. <laughs> Meaning the Lord ain't going to use, the Lord ain't going to use battle rams. This thing is going to be supernatural. The Lord is going to use the, the, the fourth dimension and put Esau back in order as well as the rest of the world going to see it. And they're going to magnify Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah's name. The world will magnify his name after the Lord do this glorious work. What the Lord about to do now is he about to flex on planet Earth. And all you mortal human beings with your pride, you're going to have to deal with the father of the universe right now, man. Yeah. So you know, oh, yeah. The, 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 the mm -hmm. real quick. The Lord, uh, um, when when um when Joshua, I think what's that? Joshua chapter nine. Mm -hmm. oh, can you get that real quick and read that? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm almost at my destination. I'll be there in five minutes. Right. But give me Joshua chapter nine, verse nine. Gosh. Read that real quick. Joshua 9. This verse is popping in my head real quick. Okay. Because I'm driving right now, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Almost at my best day getting my daughters. Yeah. Um, All right, this really going to. Joshua 9 and 9. Mm-hmm. It says, Joshua 9, verse 9. And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come, because of the name of Yahweh thy power. For we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. That's so it. guess what? Mm -hmm. we're, we're living in a prelude. This is symbolism. This is spiritual because now we're in spiritual Egypt. Yep. So what the Lord is going to do now, he's about to proclaim his name once again <laughs> on the earth. Yes, he is. You mere mortals are going to learn the name of Yahweh. Yahweh. You mm -hmm. will know the power of the God. Yes, sir. Y'all yes. gonna learn the fame once again of that name. Okay. And that's what the Lord is doing right now. Mm -hmm. On a low level. Mm -hmm. To the point where you people are gonna have to realize it's something supernatural going on. Yep. Yep. Beautiful, you know? Beautiful. And, 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 and I got one more. Uh huh. And then I'll leave it to you, Ak, and then we can like close it out. Yeah. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 16. Mm. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Mm. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be, be uncovered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the cup yeah. of the Lord's right hand shall be turned onto thee and shameful spewing shall be onto thy <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what's going down. That's what's going down. Yeah, he tried to cover it up. I got one more to go with that. This is Psalm 64, verse 9. And all men shall fear 
and shall declare the work of Yahweh. For they shall wisely consider his doings, man. Once this go down, you see, all men. <laughs> all men. Like, yeah. Yeah. All men. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Men's hearts shall fail. fail. Yes. Hey, people don't know what's coming, man. You better keep having fun. Your women want to keep twerking your ass. Yeah. Everybody think it's a happy day. You being wicked. Right. Oh, the men in the corner, they crazy. Right. What's wrong with them? Oh, you're about to see crazy. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right, let, we want to close it out. We can close it out with, um, you know, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Badash, Baba Kasha, Sharala, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Nathaniel Yah, Hakasa Yum, Shah, Jawada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Double honor to the elders, bishops, apostles, a great millstone. Shalom to the sincere. May we all be of the hopeful elect for those that got the eyes to see and the ears to hear may the father keep us and and and, and pull us through his his anger we need your shot to keep us from your shot man we need that shield that he gave lot we need that the at this time because this thing is going down so the water I, you know i know i caught you at the you know off guard you know so uh but beautiful beautiful vision once again you know, the wallet for the time. You know, um, I'm it. Call all y'all by Shimon Shah. You know, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, yes. Warning. This is for us first, too. Like, you know, every time you get a vision or a dream, it's for you first. Yeah, kind. Kind. And, hey, the wallet, man. Shout out to Hey, 10 a.m. tomorrow, right? Uh, 10, right? Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I'll right. get my daughters right now. I, uh, all right. Yeah, 10 in the morning. Yeah, we can start early tomorrow. All right, shalom. All right, shalom. All right, shalom. Shalom.